Now, let's set up your Millermatic 355 for the MIG welding process. We know you're eager to try out your new machine, but before you begin setup, please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips for the Millermatic 355. And remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. First, make sure your machine is powered off. Open the side door. Route the control cable through the access hole in the front of the machine. Then, install the MIG gun into drive casting in the front of the machine, making sure it is completely seated in the wire drive assembly. Tighten the gun connection to the receptacle with a threaded side knob. The four pin plug and receptacle are keyed to ensure proper alignment. Rotate plug to engage the control cable to the four pin receptacle. Twist the collar to tighten. While the machine is still off, connect the drive lead into the positive receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Next, connect the work cable to the negative receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Now the machine is set up to DCEP or electrode positive. Connect the free end of the gas hose to the MIG gas solenoid, located on the back panel of the Millermatic. Tighten with a wrench. It is not necessary to apply any thread sealant or Teflon tape to gas hose threads. Ensure the shielding gas being used matches the process and selection on the machine. Not all gases are compatible with the pulsed MIG process. Reference the pulsed MIG setup or auto set menu on the machine for the suggested pulsed MIG gases. Now, configure the drive rolls. The Millermatic 355 four drive roll system is shipped with a set of 035 and 045 combination drive rolls to ensure the drive roll groove that matches the selected wire. Insert the drive roll onto the drive roll carrier so that the desired wire diameter is facing out on the drive roll. The Millermatic 355 is compatible with wire spool diameters up to 12 inches. Next, install the spool of wire to allow the wire to feed from the top of the spool. Fasten spool hub nut to secure wire spool. Pull the wire from the top of the spool and feed it through the inlet guide and close the pressure lever. As a starting point, tighten the spool tension knob so that it is flush with the spool shaft. Close side door. Prepare the gun by removing the gun nozzle and contact tip. Then turn machine on. After three seconds, the machine will enter jog mode where the output and shielding gas will turn off and wire feed speed will increase. Or use the jog button on machine to perform the same function. Feed wire until visible. Reinstall the contact tip and nozzle. Finally, to check the drive roll pressure to ensure a trouble-free weld, release the rear tension knob and start with the front tension knob set at 2. Place your gun tip over an insulated surface, like this wood block, and feed the wire until it feeds consistently and curls on the wood without slipping. Adjust the tension as needed. Engage the rear tension knob and set the rear setting to match front tension knob. Then reduce the rear tension a half turn counterclockwise to reduce the chance of bird nesting between the two sets of drive rolls. Close the side door. To use Auto Set Elite, press Auto Set button and the button will illuminate. Then select the wire type, diameter, and material thickness. Or to use manual mode, Press Auto Set button to disable Auto Set feature to adjust your voltage and wire feed speed. As a guide, the electronic parameter chart can be accessed while in manual mode by pressing the P Chart button. View introduction video for more information. Setting up your Millermatic 355 to MIG weld is as simple as that.